I think that stars are just like your grandparents, watching over you wherever you go. And if you think about it, whether they are your own grandma, grandpa, or even a surrogate grandparent, our senior generations really are similar to stars. I mean, they're both like big gassy balls of burning fire, am I right? No, no, I don't mean it like that. I mean, how they shine, guide you, and how beautiful they are. I hope you have someone you can call when you need a talk or when you need help with anything. But currently, divorces are more common and families also move more. So young people are often separated from their older relatives, the people they feel comfortable talking to about things you can't quite talk to your parents about. But studies have shown, if you don't have a great relationship with your grandparents, you have a greater risk of having emotional issues and a greater risk of getting depression. About a week ago, Saturday, I had a question. We live in West Vancouver, Canada, where all the plants are blooming, but we don't know much about gardening because none of our plants have lasted more than seven months. My parents were busy, but I knew I could rely on grandpa. So this is my dad's father, so grandpa on my dad's side of the family. So I FaceTimed with grandpa, who is in China. And when he picked up, he was wearing the usual, a blue sweater and his black hair combed back with a middle part. And I started off the conversation with, hello. Ni hao Tira. Grandpa always says hello and then my Chinese name. How are you doing? All right, how are you doing? Good. Oh, and you know, I've been writing for our school newspaper, but this week my assignment's on gardening, but I don't know much about it. Can you tell me some of the tips you use? Well, when your dad was younger, he used to cover up the little window of his room with newspapers. So I don't really like newspapers because whenever I think of them, they bring that back that bad memory. But for your newspaper, I'll make an exception. And I was thinking, oh, that's why there are sticky yellow things on the window. Double-sided tape used to be there. That's what my grandpa does. I tell him I'm writing for my school newspaper, he tells me a funny story about my dad, and says he doesn't really like newspapers, but he'll make an exception for me. And it's really good to know that even if my paragraph doesn't make it into our school newspaper, Grandpa will still be proud of me. And that's what I was thinking. I didn't say that though, because Grandpa probably would have gone on into a much longer story. Instead, I just said, awesome. And then there was our signature long, awkward silence. But Grandpa knows I called for gardening tips. So he says, follow the sun, learn your frost dates, start with good soil, feed the plants regularly. Yeah, that's it. Okay, thanks. I'm sorry, but I have an appointment with someone in a few minutes. I'll talk to you next time. Okay, bye. Bye. I hope you have someone like my grandpa. He listens, he gives stories and answers. And I try to talk to grandpa at least once every two weeks because of our schedules. But anytime I need a talk, I feel grateful that I have grandpa in my life. But it wasn't always that way. And a lot of my friends don't have what I have. In our class, I did a survey. Out of 25 kids, 80% live far away from their grandparents, but only four actually regularly phone or talk with their grandparents. The most common reason why they don't want to is because they think it's hard to talk to someone that is so much older than them, and they don't want to take the time to explain to someone who might not fully understand them. But actually, the more you try to distance yourself away from your grandparents, the negative view of them actually increases even more. Because this is important, I did more research. The New York Times says that kids who aren't close to their grandparents have a rocky relationship with their parents as well. Grandparents act as a map 
they steer you in the right direction. My grandpa, he might be like a map, or like a farmer's almanac, because he told me all the plant tips, or like a key to a door that holds all the funny stories of your parents, which can be used as blackmail material. And grandparents can also show you perspectives that you haven't noticed before. But for me, my grandma is more like a guiding star. I want you to know about this because grandparents are the type of thing you don't feel grateful or fully understand the value of until it's taken away from you. I remember at my school we had a grandparents day where my friend Isabel told about her wonderful relationship with her grandma, how they went to Maui and ate macadamia nut ice cream together. And I realized I want that type of relationship with my grandma. And perfectly, my family was going back to China for a once a year visit. And I decided that this was my chance to get closer with my grandma. But as I walked into the door, my grandma wasn't there normally to greet me like she was used to. She was sitting there on the couch already prepared for a game of cards. Now, my grandma was already pretty skinny, but now she looked even skinnier and her blouse was looking even looser. And I thought that something seemed a bit off, but I didn't think too much of it. But after a few card games, my grandma told me that she was a bit tired and she wanted to go to her room and rest. I have never seen her so tired before but I still didn't think anything was wrong. But after we went back, my parents told me that grandma had pancreatic cancer. And at that time, I didn't really want to believe it. But then she had to move to the hospital. And once I was visiting her and I was watching her eat an orange. And that's when it suddenly hit me that I won't ever have the chance to have a close relationship with her. But that's also when I decided that I wouldn't miss this chance with my grandpa because we were both gonna miss grandma. So I'll build a better relationship with him from there. And that started with one decision. This same decision you can make here today. If you want the care of a loving grandparent in your life, it's worth the effort. You can start off by first finding someone who you want to build a better relationship with. And then you can plan to share experiences from your daily life with them, whether it would be stories or photos. And then make sure you maintain in regular contact with them because that helps the relationship build. And you can use whatever form you want. You can message them or you can FaceTime them or you can just call them. Think of older family members who love you. People who can be there for you anytime you need them. Invite seniors into your life. And Look up, look up at the openings in the sky, the reminder of your grandparents' love.